that's our dogs. They're cute and they're noisy. What's up guys, Lakers here. And for today's video, I'm going to share with you my best export settings for 4K resolution for your YouTube videos. It's not the best, but it really works for me. So I'm just going to share it with you guys. For my last video, I discussed to you guys my export settings for Full HD or 1080p. I also discussed the difference between CBR and VBR. And if you want to watch that video, you can click the link right here. On this video guys, I'm going to discuss to you my export settings for 4K resolution. Just a bit of a disclaimer, this is my own settings. It really works for me on my opinion. It might or it might not work for others, but if you have suggestions, comments you can leave that on the comment section i'm open for suggestions for this tutorial i'll be using adobe premiere pro 2017 so stick around and you might learn something new so we're inside premiere pro ang gagawin natin is ayusin muna natin yung setup ng ating sequence click nyo yung file tapos new tapos sequence sa sequence presets gagamitin natin is yung digital slr then, sa baba nun, DSLR 1080p, 24fps. Huwag nyo munang i-click yung OK ha. I-set up pa natin siya. So, punta tayo sa settings. Editing mode niya is DSLR. Time base, 23.976fps. Frame size, ito lang yung binabago ko dito. Horizontal, 3840. Tapos yung vertical niya is 2160. Kasi yun yung frame size ng 4K resolution. Next, pixel aspect ratio as is, fields as is, display format as is, audio, ganun din. Video previews, ito wala naman akong ginagalaw dito. Hindi nyo na kailangan to i-change into 4K frame size kasi preview lang naman siya. Maximum render quality. Huwag nyo muna itong iche-check kasi iche-check natin yan pag nirender na natin yung uh, video. Then after nyan, click nyo lang yung save preset. Preset name is 3840 times 2160 23.976 fps. Then click OK. Once na save nyo yung preset, may kita nyo siya sa pinakababa sa may custom. Piliin nyo lang yung ginawa nyo yung preset dun for 4K. Then click OK. Ngayon naman, mag-import tayo ng video na naka 4K resolution. So, ito yung sample video ko. Yan, nakikita nyo naman sa timeline. And pag chinek nyo yung info, uh, nakalagay na resolution is 3840 by 2160 uh, 24 FPS or 23.976. Ito yung gagamitin natin example. So, export natin siya. Maglalagay tayo ng in points and out points. In points sa beginning ng ating clip. And out points sa end ng ating clip. Pwede na tayo mag-export. Gawin natin, click file, export, then media. Dito sa export settings, meron ng preset si Adobe Premiere para sa YouTube na naka 4K resolution. This time, ang gagawin natin, i-customize ulit natin yung ating export settings. Export settings natin, format, H.264, preset, custom, comments, wala akong nilalagay sa comments, output name, 4K sample, sequence, basta kung ano yung gusto nyo yung file name or output name. Guys, don't forget to click yung export video and export audio. Yung source natin is 3840 to 160. Ang gagawin lang natin dyan dito sa may basic video settings is imamatch source lang natin siya para pareho sila ng resolution tsaka frame rates ng source natin. Frame rate 23.976 field order, progressive aspect, square pixels, Profile main, level 5.2. Don't forget to click yung render at maximum depth. Ini-improve kasi nito yung quality ng video nyo. Bitrate settings, kasi si YouTube meron siyang recommended na bits or byte rates na ginagamit for your video. 
Depende sa resolution tsaka sa frame rates nyo. On this video, I'm using 4K resolution. Nagpo-fall siya to 35 to 45 megabits per sec. And frame rates ko is 24 FPS. So, doon ako nagpo-fall sa tier na yun. So, gagamitin ko lang is mga 40. Again, ginagamit ko po is VBR 2 pass. Target bitrate is 40. And maximum bitrate, dinodoble ko lang po yung target bitrate ko which is 80. Advanced settings, wala na akong kiniklik. VR video, hindi naman siya VR. Sa audio, as is lang siya lahat. Audio format, AAC. Audio codec, AAC. Sample rate, 48,000 Hz. Channels, stereo. Audio quality, of course, high. Byte rate, 320. Advanced settings, precedence, byte rate. Again, huwag kalimutan yung use maximum render quality. Ini-improve nito yung quality ng video. Yan yung settings ko for 4K resolution. And para hindi ko na siya ulit-ulitin pagka nag-export ako, pupunta ako dito sa save preset icon dito sa taas banda, katapat ng preset. Then, tatype ko... 3840 by 2160 at 23.976 at 80 megabits per sec. Then click OK. Then pwede nang i-export. That's it for me today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find this video very helpful. Lalo na sa mga content creators sa tulad ko and sa mga magsisimula pa lang sa kanilang YouTube channel. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button. Subscribe to my channel and please don't forget that notification bell. Para naman manotify naman kayo. Every time na may upload naman akong video, please naman, panoorin nyo naman. Huwag subscribe naman kayo guys. That's it for me today guys and I will see you guys on my next video.